funny that it's cut perfectly wide for a pallet. It stuffs right in nicely. Nice. Yeah, this is more insulation you managed to get for free. And especially, you know, you want to... Two full vats. Oh, nice. So, cut them open, they explode a lot bigger than they... A lot more in there than it looks like. Yeah. It'll work, especially because the ducks we have are migrating ducks, so we want to keep it really warm in the winter time. It still sucks to work with, though. Yeah. So that'll be really nice though, it's working out perfectly. And we're going to use the nice plywood for the inside to go over it. Like what we've got for the floor. So he's making two little windows, one on either side. That way we can ventilate it in the summer too, because it does get pretty warm here during the summer, especially with the roof beating down in the sun all day and everything. He's just uh, sitting in the framing right now, and we're going to put the windows in later because we don't have them yet, and we want to get the ducks outside, but that way it's all set so we can just cut the hole and put the window in when the time comes and the insulation isn't in the way or anything. So it'll be good. He did get one inner wall partially up, so he's doing the particle board here, and then he's going to put on the uh, nice plywood over that, and that way nothing should be able to bore through that or anything trying to get through the ducks. It'll be nice and sturdy. Got the door there. He is going to put an actual door on it. We picked up uh, hinges and a lock and handle yesterday that we'll use for it. Put a nice padlock on it so no raccoons or anything can try to open and get through there. It's very smart, so... So while he's working on the duck coop, I started finishing up the pond. If you watch our previous and original uh, building a duck pond video, see how this was dug out. But I got a nice really heavy duty green tarp so it's not, you know, a s eyesore or anything like that. But I laid it down about as flat as I'm going to get it right now and I'm going to start putting some rocks and dirt along the outside and rocks along the inside to pull it as tight as I can. That'll be the next step, and then we'll keep finishing it up. I've been debating which order to do the rest in, bury the edges, add the gravel to the bottom, fill it. But uh, I'm going to add some water to it first and I guess make sure it's holding level and holding the water before I go ahead and bury all the edges. It is going to make extra steps because it's going to be a pain to do everything once it's got water in it. But I'd rather not have to redo everything if it doesn't hold. So let's see what it does here. Chris is still working hard. getting the actual finished inner walls up. And it's great, the wood he has, you've been able to what, you're just scoring it with the razor blade and it's breaking. Scoring it breaking it with the razor blade. It works out, so. Is it a little easier? Um, the circular saw, it's a little easier than the sawzall, so. Yeah, can't get the straightest cuts with the sawzall. So the pond seems to be holding water okay. I only added about a foot because I don't want to drain my well out. i got to fill this in portions. 
But it, so it seems to be holding up level, so we're going to stick with that. And so I'm going to start bearing the edges. i got a couple buckets of dirt here so far. Because if we come over here, you can see that just the other day I came out and expanded my garden here to make room for kale, collard greens, lettuce, and spinach. Because I want to do more because it can support a lot of my pets and everything through the summer and sp save me a lot of money. But over there I have a huge pile from all the grass that I dug up to do that. And I did the same thing when I made my compost bin and make great foundations and stick together well. So I'm actually going to use that to start burying the edges of the tarp. That way I don't have to steal dirt from anywhere else, which will be good. Sounds like it. So we're putting some paint primer sealer on the inside floor after I caulked the seams and cleaned it up nice. Try and give it a little preventative barrier from the moisture and them destroying the wood. So now we're so now we work on the outside. We still got a little bit of work to do on the outside, but trying to get it ready enough to go camping in a couple weeks. And I'll put finishing touches on it. But yeah, that's coming along. Roof screwed down. So the roof's all ready to go. Just finishing it up. Oh yeah. 